Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm going to teach you how to play Elvis's Fool's Rush In. So grab your capos, throw it on the second fret, and let's dive into the key of C major. Okay, you guys, so the chords you're going to need for this song are all in the key of C major. If you don't know what that is, look up those chords. There will be um, a couple little exceptions um, in our bridge, but for the most part, it's just all C major. So let's go ahead and, uh, and go through the first part, which is the intro. The intro is going to go from C to G. Now, this song is in um, what I believe is 6-8 time, so it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So every measure will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you can do this in a couple different ways. You can strum it, which is the easier way to do it. I recommend trying that first if you're a beginner, um, which would be one, uh, or one, two, three, four, five, six. Just get that one, two, three, four, five, six for a measure. And then if you get comfortable with that, maybe you can throw the emphasis on there. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm emphasizing the one and the four. One, two, three. way to strum it. If you want to use the picking pattern, you can just kind of arpeggiate the chord that's going one string at a time. I always recommend uh, starting with your root note, the lowest note of your chord. I'm just choosing notes at random. I'm not going to go in too in-depth into what that might entail or how I would teach that if this is a one-on-one -on -one session. That's just the basics. So I'm going to go ahead and teach this in the style of the strumming, uh, but feel free to Use your paging style if you're comfortable or bored with this. Alright, so the intro is C for measure, G for measure, C for a measure, G for a measure. Okay, and we have our, you might want to call it actually uh, kind of like a chorus, or I guess technically, anyways. First part is <laughs> C, E minor, A minor. Measures. Then we go F for a measure, C for a measure, G for two measures. And then it goes F for one, G for one measure, A for one measure, F for one measure, C for one measure, G for one measure, C for two measures. That is what you would consider the first part. We're going to call that the chorus since it has the title in, um, in, the, in the lyrics. Next part is the bridge. And that bridge is definitely a little change up from the key of C major. It's part of the brilliance of this song. So it's going to start with, it's, going to, it's the same strum pattern, by the way, same uh, time signature. But we're going to start with an E minor for one measure. It's going to go to B7 for one measure, B minor for one measure, B7 for one measure, E minor for one measure, B7 for one measure, E minor for one measure, A7 for one measure, D minor for one measure, G. So after our bridge, it'll go back into uh, our what we call the chorus. It's going to do half of that chorus, though, uh, and then it goes back into the bridge again. And then it goes back into your, what we're, gonna, we're calling the chorus part. And that is going to be a little bit different, so I'm going to run through that. So it's the same thing as before. It's C for one measure, E minor, A minor twice. So it's all the same so far. F once, C once, G for two measures. Measure, G for one measure, A minor for one measure, F for one measure, C for one measure, G, C twice. And then it goes again to that what we just did. It goes back to F for one, G once, A minor once, 
F once. C. Will you? So it's doing the same chords, but it's going to just be strummed kind of like do this once at the end. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate that. Please subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. Uh, like this video and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys want to learn. I'm here for you. Also check out my website for tons of great free videos and any of my products. How to play any song on guitar would be perfect for you if you struggled with this song at all. It goes through a lot of the foundation chords that we just covered today. Alright you guys, enjoy.